The final quarter final of the men's light welterweight division. Vincenzo Mangia Capre from Italy goes up against Erdin Ranchimek from Mongolia. Now, Ranchimek is the second ranked boxer in this uh, weight division at these world championships. Mangia Capre, 24. The Mongolian in the blue corner. Italian in the red. He's given that world rank two by some of his successes on the World Series of Boxing and also for his bronze medal in these World Champions Chips. International Amateur World Championships of 2009 in Milan. Tony Germain of Canada is the referee for this final quarter. And Mangia Capri is going to have to show some lightning skills here in the red corner for Italy. If he's to deny Juranchimek a spot in the semi final to meet De Santos of Brazil who just defeated the Hungarian in our last bout. He's prepared well, the Italian, for these World Championships. Took a bronze medal in the recent European Championships in Ankara in Turkey. He lost to Thomas Stalker, the Liverpoolan boxer who's already qualified for the semi-finals. If you're just joining our action from the 16th World Amateur Boxing Championships in Baku, Azerbaijan, Stalker will be meeting Brencic of the Ukraine in Friday's semi-finals. And uh, waiting now on the outskirts of the stadium here in Baku, Everton de Santos, to see which one of these two fighters goes through. So, Mangia Capre, at 22 years of age, a much improved boxer this year and has done exceptionally well to get this far in the tournament certainly proving that that third position in the Europeans or that bronze medal in the Europeans was no one-hit wonder as for Erdin Uranchimeg from Mongolia well by far the most experienced of the two boxers the Mongolian of course in the blue corner and the blue shorts vest and headgear 29 years of age Seven years the senior to the Italian from uh, Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. He's also prepared with uh, medals for these world championships, taking the gold in the recent Asian championships in Korea. Also won his national championships this year. And as we saw in our graphic at the start of this bout, Yuran Chemeg of Mongolia took the bronze medal in the 2009 Worlds and was also a Mongolian representative at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing taking seventh position there oh yes and the Italian well showing no signs of fear he's put together one or two nice combinations here Mangia Capre a confident boxer quite stylish Needs to be careful that the Mongolian doesn't land one of those huge hooks of his on his chin. Because Yaran Chimeg, incredibly fit. And with a very big, there it is. Right hook and right jab. Well, good start for the Italian, I have to say. The Mongolian takes the advantage after the first round by four to three. But a lot of people were predicting that this would be almost a walkover for the Mongolian. Definitely in the easier side of the draw. But the Italians held his own here, scored three very good shots. And only trailing by one going into the second round. Maybe there could be an upset in this last quarter-final. 
of the light welterweight division. Let's take a look at the judges a little carefully. Well, there was one of them that had the Italian, but I'm sure you'll agree, evenly matched in the first round. Now, the Canadian referee watching over both boxers very carefully. Germain. Now, let's see if they, either of these boxers can turn the tables and draw clear. The Italian, Mangia Capre in the red. Uranchimeg of Mongolia in the blue. Uranchimeg is the hot favourite to take this quarter-final and join De Santos of Brazil in the semis here on Friday. But young Vicenzo... Standing tall. There's a good shot there from Erdin. Well, Mangia Capra needs to be careful here because uh, Ranchmeg is keeping his work rate going. Good shot there from the Mongolian in the blue. Standing tall, standing off the attack, looking for the fast counter. He's got a lovely jab, the Italian, but he does tend to carry his hands just a little low and that is allowing Uranchmeg to keep putting those combinations in and putting those points together Doesn't want to let the Mongolian get too far ahead and give himself an impossible task in the third, this young Italian. Well, it's been a solid workmanlike performance, hasn't it, from the Mongolian in the second round. Slippery customer, the Italian. Switching, not afraid. Certainly got the skills to switch from orthodox to sad for. But Juranchimeg, happy. Just to keep knocking out the points. Oh, that's good news for the Italian. Because the judges have got them both tied in that second round. Six each. Well, I got the Mongolian too clear on that round. That shows my scoring skills. <laughs> but what this means is that we have a very exciting third round just a few moments away and a very close final quarter final on our hands here. The Italian takes that second round by one and they are all square at six each. This would be a great result for the Italian now. The second seed, Mongolian boxer, and of course world championship bronze medalist two years ago, is under threat. Again. Oh, and the Italian now looking to mix it up a bit. 
This could be the biggest upset of these quarterfinals. Everything's gone to the form book so far. But ranked out of the world's top 30, Vincenzo Mangia Capre. <laughs> He's having the fight of his life against the world number two. Oh, good combinations there from Ranchemeg. Using his experience, staying calm. Again, the Italian will just need to put a few more combinations together. A lot of those punches not taking the target. Oh yes, good work from the Italian. The uppercut and the hook working and scoring. And again, this is very close. A minute left in this third and final round. This could be the biggest upset of the light welter division quarter-final. The Italian boxing in the red seems to have got the mark of the established Mongolian boxer Munk Oranchimeg. Thirty-five seconds. Well, the Italian boxer not happy that he's punched on the back of the head whilst the referee was calling for the bout to stop. And does that fire up the Italian for one last combination of punches? Oh, well, the counter allows. The Mongolian to take a nice one-two, 20 seconds from the end of the third round. And that could be the combination that takes the Mongolian to the semi again. He hits the target. And it's a great finish from the second-ranked boxer of this tournament. And again, in with the left. And the Italian who's battled so bravely succumbs to four, possibly five point scoring blows from the Mongolian right in the last 10 seconds of the third and final round. That was an incredibly close bout. The Italian corner absolutely delighted with the performance, no matter what the outcome of Vincenzo Mangia Capri. Shaking his head, the Mongolian. But were those combinations in those dying seconds of the third round, enough to give the Mongolian the victory? Or did the good work from Mangia Capre in the early part of the third round do enough to give the Italian a spot in the semi-final? Here we go. Oh, he's done it! That is great news for Vincenzo Mangia Capre. That is great news for Italian boxing. 16-11. And the second rank boxer from Mongolia is knocked out by the unseeded Italian. And what a magnificent performance. A massive personal best for the Italian here. He was the work at the beginning of the round where he really was forcing the Mongolian back. A beautiful hook there. Again, the jab was working well. The combinations all coming together. And it was just in the last 20 seconds that Juranchimeg put together his best work but it wasn't enough Vincenzo Mangia Capri goes through to the semi-finals in the light welter division